what's up it's easy alliance i bring you guys episode 12 of our best in slot gold series farming guide all right so today we're going to be traveling to razor front downs razor front downs is on a thousand needles uh, let me move that it's on a thousand needles in kalimdor the easiest way to get there for either horde or alliance is just from tavern cavern of times in Cenaris, uh right here and just fly up um or you can if you're horde go to thunder bluff or orgamar and just fly down um so it's right in here. I'm going to show you guys the entrance. Uh, you start here and you'll just run here. I'm going to show you guys that here in just a second. But I'm going to tell you guys basically um, what we're farming and the best tune to do it on, etc. Um, so the only class that you're going to make a significant amount of gold on is going to be the rogue, mainly because in the instance you're looking for a pattern called the star belt pattern. Very, very low drop chance. Um, sells for about 150k gold across all US servers right now. But um, you can't pick the chests unless you have a rogue. So you need to have a rogue in order to go do this. Um, and that's going to increase your gold significantly because each chest that you loot um, typically drops a green. As you can see in most of these, suffer a decent amount of gold. I made 32,000 gold in just under an hour. I got locked out from doing 10 runs. But um, uh, if you really wanted to come out here and just do this in like 40 minutes to 45 minutes, I would recommend getting the Bear Tartar. If you're level 101 or higher, you can um, basically eat that um, for 10 seconds. It gives you a buff for an hour. That increases your speed movement uh, by 70% or after you kill something for 5 seconds. Um, so basically on my video, I'm not going to explain the route because on my video, but when I speed it up like I do in every video, it'll explain the route. But okay, so what you're going to want to do is... Whenever you, I'm going to show you guys how to get here now. So whenever you're getting here, just follow this trail back. But then once you get back in here, some people kind of get confused as to where to go. So once you see the stone right here, you're just going to take a right. And you go through here. Or if you can fly, just fly through it. Just kind of follow the path as you go along. And the, you'll see the entrance right here. Um, you just go in there and you follow my little route and you make a crap ton of gold and have a nice RNG chance of that star belt. Um, I literally I literally park my rogue out here because this is all I use my rogue for is to run this and some other stuff like the gnomish dice and all that stuff, which I can explain in another video if you guys need me to. That's also a very, very good gold farm. But um, guys, that's pretty much it for this gold guide. If you guys have any um, comments, put them in the section below down there. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. Uh, we'll have episode 13 out tomorrow. Um, any series of ideas that you guys have, leave them in the comments below because I'm really interested in what you guys have to say about everything. Tell me if you guys like the videos or if you don't like them, what I can do to make them better. But uh, that's pretty much it for tonight, guys. Episode 13 will be here tomorrow. Um, best of luck farming this. Let me know what you guys do down in the description below. Uh, see you guys tomorrow.